<clears throat> what's going on youtube snipes here with tko gaming here with another strategy this strategy is the best strategy on how to kill oryx my friends this is so easy i'm doing it with three people that have never done this raid before and we taught them everything that they needed to know and now it's about to go down i'm on someone else's account because I love you guys, man. You guys are such great supporters. You come to the live streams, you support us, all the people who donate to us, the people who share our channels and videos. This is what we do. We do this to return the favor to you guys and help you guys out in beating this raid. We've carried over a thousand people last time Trials was out. Now Trials is coming out again. We're going to be helping everyone. Sherpas, carries, let's go. It's going down, you guys. All everything that you need to know in terms of contacting us and being a priority in the list to get helped with whatever you need in destiny whether it be quest lines or challenges you can find that in the description below including the first strategy of oryx that we came up with so thank you guys so much i hope you enjoy the strategy i hope you enjoy the other videos now you guys the strategy is a little different as you guys know the hard mode mechanics after you kill the ogre a blight knight comes a blight knight his sole purpose in the raid is to come and take away the ogre blood so that you can't detonate it so what we do is we bring all ogres down to about one shot and then we wait till ogre or sorry we wait till oryx opens his chest we make him flinch then we all kill the ogres and then we go and run into the bloods then that way we don't have to worry about the knights so awesome such a simple way i'm sure bungie did not think of that and hey who knows maybe they'll patch it I think they should because it makes hard mode that much easier and I hope it really helps you guys. This is not too hard of a raid guys, it really all it is is the light level is pretty difficult for people. But as you guys see, just follow the steps in the video, watch my perspective, you'll see me as a floater and you'll see me as a platform guy because this goes down. It's a pretty epic finish. We finish it with 5 people for most of the raid so this raid can definitely even be 2 man again. But as you guys saw the ogre bloods were overlapping so you can actually detonate two ogre bloods at once as well a very very important point to remember about this my friends make sure you remember this the person that is the runner needs to always be putting damage into oryx if he does not put constantly put damage into oryx oryx oryx's health will not go down um that was a learning experience we had to go through now for the death race, what we do is we sign each person their platform to run around and the two floaters just run around the top platforms as you see. Very, very simple method to get past this part. And if you do the next part perfect, just like you did the first wave, you won't have to do the death race again. Oryx at about 50% health um, just discontinues the death race part. So you guys are good to go. Oryx is uh, moving around. Make sure you guys assign platforms correctly. What we did was we assigned people three platforms and we said if your platform happens to be the last platform, all you have to do is you have to move yourself to the open platform. And that's what people are doing right now because you don't need to be the fourth platform is always the one with the shield above it. So you don't ever need to do that. We have the little touch of malice cheese going on. You guys don't like to call it a cheese, but hey, blessings of light and the last bullet in the touch of malice. And that way you just don't get hurt and you can keep dipping in and out. Hey, I love that cheese. You, I know it's not cheese, but I love cheese. So, hey, calm down, calm your horses. All right, here we go. So just keep doing it. It's just rinse and repeat now, you guys kill or don't kill the ogres please don't kill the ogres and if you do kill the ogres don't panic just go and kill the knight that spawns across and then after all the ogres are one shot you just relax oryx goes fee fi fo fum slams his fist down you're on the last bullet of the malice and you're tethered so you won't get damaged you make him flinch everybody goes to kill the ogres me as the floater right as a floater i always go for the fourth ogre blood that's my purpose i go for the fourth ogre blood and there you go then you go back to middle um so pretty much my role in the beginning of this raid uh as you guys saw was to be the floater and help out weakening the ogres and then come time to kill the ogre and jump into the light then i would always go for the fourth ogre and uh my brother who is the titan his sole purpose was to just always be a floater and always help with the ogre killing and everything candids was the guy who is a runner so his purpose is to simply um 
what's it called just shoot at oryx constantly constantly shoot at oryx so as you guys notice you know one of our teammates went down so now i have to switch roles and now i'm going to be in charge of his platform um and i'll tell you guys exactly the mechanics that's what you guys will see you guys will see the perspective of an individual on a platform and how dangerous it could be with the ogres and how to correctly position yourself and you could see a floaters perspective and man i'm telling you guys this is this is a strategy i really hope that you share this with your friends have them watch the video have them watch it so they have a visual understanding of what they need to do and what their role is so i'm taking over his platform that the guy who died um they got platform number one then two is about to go up i'm three so i go up now as i was the floater so i got to do as much help as possible right on the ogre so my ogre is about to come up I'm gonna go ahead and just stick grenade. The warlock grenades are just so OP. Um, this ogre is getting a little crazy, but hey, don't freak out, all right? I'm I'm freaking out right now. I shouldn't have been freaking out. We have plenty of time, as you guys notice. Every time we go up there, Oryx is still doing his fee five fo fum stomp, and we're still chilling. You know, I'm over here helping with the fourth ogre. We got to be very careful. Be very careful not to accidentally kill the third ogre. And so. Here, Oryx is just still chilling. We're all waiting for his chest to open up. It's very easy. Honestly, you only need about three to four malices to constantly shoot at him to make him flinch. And then the ogres go down, and as you see, both the bloods overlap. So I'm just going to go ahead and take care of both of these. You have to be able to adapt. Stay positive and adapt. That's what raiding and destiny in general is all about. That should That is what gaming should be all about. You guys should always stay positive, always encourage your team to do better. If something is going wrong, if someone is dying, figure it out. Find the solution instead of complaining. Please, let we need to spread that message around all guardians because I've seen too many people get mad, pissed. I mean, people lose friends, wives, kids, dogs over this game. I'm like, man, y'all need to calm down. People lose their jobs and stuff, man. Come on, guys focus all right life is still life gaming should be for fun have fun with it enjoy it make man it's just so awesome i love this game the community is awesome i've been a very very competitive halo player for a very very long time then gears of war then call of duty and now i'm not at this game it doesn't have a mlg competitive side to it but it's it's this community is second to none so i want to just take this time out while we're kicking ass in this raid as you can see to just say thank you thank you all for being awesome now in here, be very careful because as you guys know, your health does not come back up. Um, and if you're a warlock like I am, you have self-res, but I would still recommend not using self-res. I would strongly recommend that. I want to tell you guys something that happened. We were doing world's first attempt, right? And we finished uh, top 10. However, I will tell you what happened. In certain parts of this raid, if you die as a warlock, I wasn't a warlock, but we had two warlocks, self-res warlocks. If you die in certain parts of this raid, uh, you are not allowed to self-res. You're not allowed to use your super self-res. So when that happened to us, we thought that Bungie had removed self-res from this hard mode raid, would make, which would actually make sense because it's kind of OP that Warlocks have a second chance in hard mode where you're not allowed to, to revive, right? Or to be revived. So thought that was a little OP. Oh, by the way, this is the perspective once again. You know, as soon as the light guy gets his last orb, Everyone should just jump off their platforms and get get up here and be safe and just just kill it from here. You guys already know what to do. Um, but anyways, back to my story. So we thought that Bungie had removed it. So we had both of our Warlocks changed to Radiance. And as we're doing the world's first attempt, we went the whole raid without using self-res. And we used Radiance instead. And, you know, it sucked, but, man, it was so bad. And it, it sucked because those two people that were warlocks were the ones that were dying the most too because of their roles or whatever it was you know nothing against them they're great players but if they had self-res we could have gotten done with this so fast i'm not saying we would have got worlds first but we sure would have had a way better shot at worlds first than being top 10 without any self-res so that's our little story yeah call us stupid call us what you want but we still love helping you guys out and carrying and and all that stuff so tune into our live stream say what's up links are in the description below um and if you guys have beaten this raid man tell me how many people have you helped out tell me how many what what awesome weapons did you guys get i got a 320 i got 320 gauntlets and i got really excited about that um by the way for this part when uh we're doing the whole uh, witch thing where you go inside and you have to kill the shadow of oryx or whatever it is 
you want to make sure if you're on the outside still to continuously shoot the ads uh, the taken ads that want to go in right you want to make sure you kill those to make it easier for your teammates and this is another crazy time where i almost died this was i was like give me overshield i need that op mm, there you go got the overshield i'm happy now but you want to make sure you don't die you want to make sure everyone's uh just team shooting if you have a tether on this part it's great because the shadow of orcs will not be able to move it'll stay in place when it's uh tethered when it comes to middle to slam only when it comes to middle and slam. oh and you can use the three of coins here uh, my brother actually used the three of coins in one of our runs and actually got an exotic from it so it's pretty cool um and then once you make it out we just have one more run to do we're excited to get it done um and it's just once again like i said rinse and repeat uh, as the floater, if someone goes down uh, like I was, you have to take over their position. You have to know what they're doing. That's why I recommend that if you're doing this with a team that hasn't done it yet, or if you're doing it with a team that just isn't as efficient, have them watch this video, tell them their role, and then tell them to learn it. You know, this is the, that's how you do. You learn a strategy inside and out, so that way you can do it and uh, to the best of your ability and really, really help your team. So be very careful. I mean, we're getting really close on killing these ogres. So uh, it's kind of scary sometimes. What I say is for the people that are helping to shoot the ogres, you should stop. Let the floaters uh, get them down to one shot. You should stop at 20%, all right? And if you do it right, you really don't even need to worry about it. And yeah, here, I don't even know how I died, but hey, that's what self-res is there for. Awesome that we had that. And at this point, all we really needed was one more light because you need 16 lights, uh, lights, I should say to kill oryx we just needed one more so me dying wouldn't have even made a difference but i'm back up to help my teammates and support them we helped so many people beat this raid for the first time we're so happy for you guys to get those emblems shout out to everyone who helps others man you guys are awesome thank you thank you thank you keep doing it um don't stop it's awesome and uh if you guys want to be helpers with tko gaming feel free to come to our live stream as well or contact us in in any way in the description below that you feel is is good for you and contact us get with us play with us help us help others and let's keep doing it man yeah we are uh, doing a fundraiser as well on our stream to help improve not only video quality but also stream quality and just keep growing we're here for the long run my friends remember tko gaming because you will see a lot more of us and there he goes floating away like a little raisin all wrinkled up and there's that beautiful emblem that I want to see all of you guys have very, very soon. I hope this helps. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up and I'll see you later. Peace.